So now we are in Lantana, Florida, looking at a 54 Knight and Carver 1997 Motor Yacht, and it's not in the water. Just clarifying that. Bottom was just done, has prop speed. Engine work was done. Um, changed out the fluids, the filters, impellers. This boat has a bow and stern thruster. She so needs a detail. I don't know if you can see down this side. You'll see it more on this side. It looks like they started. They just hadn't yet finished or are on it or I don't know. But this looks like it's old wax that's in the boot stripe. Um, it's hard to tell on the video. Don't know what's going on there. Looks like a chunk was taken out of the keel at some point, and that's a repair. A stern thruster. Sinks are good. Guess they're finishing up. I don't know what happened here. Boat needs some love. It's all straight. It's like been buffed out up in here and knocked down in here. I don't know if they're just showing what could be or I don't know what they're doing. Looks like the anchor knocked it right up in here. See any blisters? This is off on this side. Some kind of repairs going on here. I'm gonna put some zincs in there. Water lights that are all cloudy. That's how they should replace that. And right, now for the graceful part. <laughs> Let's see how gracefully we can do that. Need a little repair right here down the glass. You see some spider cracking here on the deck. All of the non skid is no good. And there's another couple on board. So we bypass them. If you see someone else, that's who that is. Nice large swim platform. So it's a good, that's five feet deep. Another repair is needed right here. Oh, the Teak and Holly needs love. You can see a gap in here in these spaces. This is all old. All this has to be dug out and replaced. The teak overall is probably all right. But it has to get reworked. Um, I took a separate video down here in the hole to show you. There's the other couple. Say hi. hi. <laughs> um, nice wide walk arounds. I would have liked that they brought the railing all the way down here to the end. I decided to stop it up there. Sorry. Don't be sorry at all.
we'll go forward and you'll be able to see that the non-skid needs to completely be replaced. So the interior coming aft, there's L-shaped seating on the starboard side. The cushions have to be replaced. It's a large TV with surround sound system. Um, there's blinds here, here, and here. Three out of seven. I don't know what happened. A lot of cabinetry. Some of the wood's all right. And some looks like it's been replaced or something. I mean, we're a different color here. I don't know if you can see that. This is more like a cherry, and that's more like a, I don't know, like a light, uh, medium-colored pine color. But then we're dark up here. Headliner's all good. This flooring up here needs to be stripped down, restained. It's darker down here than it is up here. The galley's an open galley with a dinette forward, open to the salon aft. You have all drawer, refrigeration, and freezer. A good amount of cabinetry space. Big sink, stove top. It's an induction stove. Wasn't sure about that. They tiled this in here. It's like a dishwasher here. Yeah. Now, because I'm on the hard, I don't have electricity. It's going to be a little bit harder to see in the staterooms. We'll look at this lower helm. Balance turn thruster control. 1212 GPS Garmin. Original Furuno radar. Interphase probe. Your caterpillar controls. Looks like the headliner's coming down over there. The rest of it's good. Go down below. Again, no lights here, so. Bear with me. If I was good at this, I'd know how to turn on the light now, but I'm not good at this. Masters all the way aft. Yeah, good size room. Queen size berth with full walk arounds. Good amount of cabinetry and nightstand on both sides and a hanging locker. Other lockers and drawers. Something going on or went on here, but it's hard and it's dry. But and sweet head, the toilet room. Hopefully you can see that. And the shower with a seat, and you have a hatch from the shower to the engine room. Open that up and it's the starboard engine, the forward side of the starboard engine. Um, washer and dryer in here. Separate Maytag units. You know, think that these probably don't work. <clears throat> Midship, we have bunks. Then all the way forward, we have the VIP, which is, again, a big room. Walk around full. Nice headroom. We have this hatch up forward. We have a hanging locker. And then, this one's locked. There we go. The head for the guest. It's and the VIP with a closet with a seat. So, these stairs lift, you have all the access to the plumbing for the heads under there, under the hatch in the passageway as well. So we go forward and see how bad this non-skid is. 
Also here you have uh, two wastes and two diesels. But you'll see this is all cracked up. Got plenty of storage under here and on the other side as well. Hopefully this comes out and you can see this. Good seating here with a table, but it's, all this non-skid's got to go. There's a ladder in the aft deck up to the flybridge, but I kind of like the stairs inside better, so I'm going to take the stairs. Good space up here in the fly. <coughs> Excuse me. We have a wicker sofa seat here. It's got a hard top. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if this leaks. Definitely something you'd want to check. Easy to see why enclosure. We'll do electronics. Go. Got some stuff going on up here. 